There are four maxillary premolars, two in each quadrant. They are posterior to canine and anterior to molar. Their main function is chewing and grinding of food. Maxillary first premolar has two cusps and two roots, one buccal and one palatal. Crown of maxillary first premolars is hexagonal in shape with sharp buccal line angles. Buccal cusp is larger than the palatal cusp. In most cases, the number of root canals corresponds with the number of roots, but a root may have more than one canal, according to Wien's classification. Type 1. Single canal from the pulp chamber to the apex. Type 2. Two canals leaving the chamber and merging to form a single canal short of the apex. Type 3. Two separate and distinct canals from the chamber to the apex. Type 4. One canal leaving the chamber and dividing into two separate and distinct canals. Maxillary first premolar generally has two roots, but sometimes has single fused root. Regardless of whether maxillary first premolars have one or two roots, they usually have two root canals that exit by separate apical foramina. In buca palatal section the pulp chambers of maxillary first premolar is broad with two pulp horns pointing towards the buccal and palatal cusps. In mesiodistal section pulp chamber is much narrower, cross section at cervical level shows a typical kidney-shaped appearance. At mid-root level two round or oval-shaped canals can be seen. The root canals are round and small at apex. Preoperative X-ray of extracted tooth specimen. An oval-shaped cavity is cut on occlusal surface between the cusp's tips to gain access to buccal and lingual surfaces. The pulp chamber is wide and ovoid in a buccopalatal dimension. Buccal canal is directly under the buccal cusps and its orifices can be penetrated by following the buccal wall of the pulp chamber. Similarly the palatal canal is directly under the palatal cusps and its orifices can be penetrated by following the palatal wall of the pulp chamber. The palatal canal is generally the larger of the two canals. After penetrating in the pulp chamber we can see two canals one buccal and one palatal. Negotiating the canals with the smallest K file. Postoperative X-ray. The maxillary second premolar closely resembles maxillary first premolar. They are less angular, exhibits a more rounded appearance, and has two cusps of nearly same size. The cervical cross section of roots shows flattened oval canal. The access cavity preparation is oval similar to the first premolars. Maxillary second premolar generally has single root with single indistinct canal. When two canals occur, they may be distinct and sepa rated along the entire length of the root, or they may converge to form a common canal as they approach the apex.